and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial I'm going to exit out and what I want to do now is I need to add some component for the database so let's come right here I'm going to get hold of T A D B O connect connection this very one grab all of that and just dump it right there there we go that is it right there and I'm also going to get hold of the table itself so let's go for T A D B O table and just dump that right here as well then finally I'm going to get hold of data source there we go there don't worry about it all of these components will not be displayed once you start running your once you run your program so let's run it and you see what I'm talking about there we go so it's not there all right but before I can do anything now I'm going to I'm going to add my database I have a database I created in access so I'm going to come in here let's open up the database that is a right there so if I double click on that so that you guys can see it and that is my database okay just made that up so I'm going to copy this very database and just paste it straight into my project area so copy I can close this now I don't need it anymore let's open up the project that's the project in there right click and paste the database right in there there the next thing I'm going to do now is let's select the location for this very database okay so come in here right click and select copy address as test all right we can minimize that now back to our connectors select the very first one the main connector that is called a dbo connection one now we need the connection you see right here where we have connection string this very one click in there select the three dot and right here you see where we have build click on build and make sure you click on build inside the build and now I'm, I'm now going to select Microsoft Office 16 access database engine O L E D B so click on that and select next and the address copy I'm going to paste that right in there make sure you include your database address that is it right there and now you see where we have admin I'm going to get rid of admin and uh, blank password I'm going to uncheck that and let's come in here you see where we have test connection there we go test connection succeed or successful all right now you see where we have advanced click on advanced and change change it to read and write there we go and that's it so I'm gonna click on OK and right here click on OK again there so our connection is taken care of now let's scroll right down see where we have the login prompt I'm going to uncheck, uncheck that else the system will prompt you to enter the password so I have unchecked that okay the next thing now is let's select ADO table this very one now as for the ADO table we now want the connection you see here you can enter the connection the details in there as well but um, you can also select connection okay here I'm gonna come in here connection is going to be the ADO connection one this very one here now let's go right down right here we now want to select table name the table name 
there we go it's called appointment select that there now that that is done let's go right up here you see where we have active yes we want it active so you must check that else it will not be active the next thing is you now want to connect the data source to the table make sure the data source is selected and come to data sets drop that down and select the table that is it connection is enabled that is it that's all done now to prove to you that uh, we now have our connection let's go to the appointment details select that and inside the appointment details I'm going to now select this very data review that I have in here and um, let's look for the data source that is it right there click on the data source and select data source one there we go that is the appointment details okay now but there's one thing here we only have two fields so I'm going to right click and let's select the column editor once the column editor is selected you see here select add all fields there we go now select the patient ID the patient ID let's say the width the width is 100 190 I'm gonna make that about maybe 50 then the title I'm gonna make the title the title is 4000 plus no way make the title about maybe 20 first name 4894 strange okay make that about 70 so name 70 as well address I'm gonna make that 120 telephone number maybe 60 gender 40 date of birth with 40 years well age as 30 nationality we're gonna make that about 70 And here we have uh, county let's make county maybe about 80 postcode 30 appointment we make appointment about 40 dates let's make 40 as well scroll right down okay time Maybe about 40. So I guess you guys get the whole idea. All I'm just doing now is setting the width. So I'm going to speed up the rest. Okay, that is it. All done. I will now close this. There. The whole column can be seen, but the problem is uh, the font seems to be too large. I'm going to select it and just change the font, the size of the font. Let's go to font right here just reduce the font size to something much much more manageable maybe about 14 yeah that's much better look at that all right and I also need to change the font for this title let's scroll right down make sure it's selected let's look for title font oh there we go select that I'm gonna make that 14 as well there that's much better all right let's go to the the rest of the database now we need to connect each of these two the data source one easy way out is I can select it all select all of these or you can do it individually select the first one and come in here let's look for data source that is the data source there there and select this the field separately the field is id something to do with the patient's id it's not doctor's id there we go so the very first one is taken care of 
The other way out is you can select it all, select and come right here. So that will speed up the whole process. Okay, all of these are connected to the data source one, but the data that goes in there, data, uh, the data field has to be entered separately. So we have title in there. So the first title is this one. The next one, first name. Look for the first name, surname. A song name here, yeah, right here, and address. You see, this kind of like speed up the whole process just a little bit. Address then here, nationality. This nationality, there's nothing there for now, and so on. So, I'm going to speed up the race by just selecting it, selecting it all. I repeat the same thing here and enter a data source one. Then I can select the field individually. Come right there, do the same thing for the doctor's information. Come right to data source. Data source, drop it down, select data source one. That is it. They are all connected to data source one. Then we need to now enter the field individually. So appointment details. Let's go to the fields. Appointments. I think that is it. Yeah. Date. Select date. Time. Select the time. Time here. Now here we have confirm. There we go. So and so on, guys. So telephone. I'm going to do that, and I will then speed it up. Now for the telephone. Once you are there, we go. Gender. age county we have county there postcode this postcode right there and date of birth maybe we should move move this up here date of birth DOB and so on guys I'm going to speed that up and get back to you sh shortly there okay, and finally let's take care of this very one the doctor's surname come right there if you guys can still record the data source was selected okay now doctor's surname there Felix Wills and that is it the data connection is all taken care of so let's run it and see click on run it's coming up there we go now if you look here the navigator is now connected so we need to connect the navigator so i'm going to just close that I'll come right here select the navigator and come right here we need to connect it to data source one as well as soon as it's connected you see the nav navigator will light up there we go that is that connected save let's run it now you see the navigator do its own job there we go guys now you see the na navigator is enabled so I can now click you see that and I can only have two records in there all right now that is done the next thing I want to do is you see when we select insert new data what we want to do is once we click on any of these dates once we click on the date we want the date to appear in the appointment date and yeah, the date should appear in the appointment date. That will be fine. 
and the other thing I would like to do is when we enter date of birth I want that I think I would like that calculated as well I want the date of birth displayed right here now let's see how we can go about doing that we need date here and we need date of birth okay so let's do that all right let's double click on this calendar well first thing first we need the name of these very dates that is the name i'm going to copy that name and share is copied now let's go to the calendar double click on the calendar there we go so i'm going to say dates dot text that will be equals whatever today's date is but first of all we need to convert a date to string open up a bracket grab hold of the calendar paste that in here calendar dot date close that enter semicolon let me collapse that so that you guys can see it all right there we go that is it okay just this line of code now i'm going to run it click on run let's see how that's going to work click on run there let's check that out okay it's coming up there we go so I'm going to click on add new and let's double click on today's date there we go alright that is fine now the next thing I want to do is you see when I enter date of birth here I want you to tell me how old the individual is or the patient is but first thing first let's rearrange this I'm going to come in here first Let's go right up there where is it yeah right here I'm gonna grab this and just move it up there yeah right up there somewhere then I'm going to select all of these and just drag it down okay that will do right so when we get the age date of birth the age will be automatically calculated all right okay let's use on click events to so select age and I'm going to go to the inspector here and let's go to events and in there just double click on on click there we go so right in here the first thing I want to do inside is procedure is I'm going to declare the following variable let's say current date and that is going to be T date time there and I will also declare a string variable let's just call that D as a string I will declare Q as double. Yes, yeah, something like that. Q as double. There we go. Now, right underneath here, let's say, right underneath here, I'm going to say the current date, this one, is going to be now. Grab that and just say equals now. So that is taken care of that's the current date now I'm going to then grab D let's say D that to be equals do that again D equals date to string let's convert that to string 
and what are we converting to spring that is going to be the current date day that is taken care of now we want this this very object the date that will be dot text that will be equals let's convert it to from float to string and what am I converting from float to string that's going to be whatever we have inside D so it has to be converted as well the string to date and that is D okay well now I want to subtract that from date of death so let's say string grab all of this let's paste that in here and that will be the date of birth that's D I call it D B E date of birth I think of birth I believe that's what I call it let's see yeah that's fine there we go right so what I've just done in here now is I've subtracted the dates of birth from the current date now I'm going to now say Q the variable Q declared up there that is equals string to float and what am I converting to float this very one here there we go now that same Q I'm going to say Q equals no let's let, let's do it this way let's just say date of birth or age that will be equals float to string F because I'm going to convert it so that will be Q divided by 365 comma FF fix because I want it to just I don't want a decimal place FF fix comma 3 well, we can make that too let's make it 3 because uh, some people do live up to 100 years and more alright then and no decimal because your age cannot be 1 age 12.1 .1 or whatever okay let's put a decimal a comma here and that is it I think so hopefully I believe my subtraction should work let's see save that run let's see what's gonna happen well no error that's looking good okay now decision time click on that enter date of birth let's say the date of birth this guy was born now uh, on the 13th uh, 12 1999 something like that if i click on here there we go tells you the age is 22 years old that is good that's what i want so that's fine okay now let's take care of the title gender and this one's yeah so let's that will be for form load so let's close that so have a good look at the on click age calculation okay that is it it's pretty straightforward okay then. now let's double click on the form now with the form I actually need the name of all of these components so this one is going to be booked or not booked so this is appointment let's grab the name of that 
right there appointment and this one is title and so on I think this one is title as well as title and this one is going to be doctor title right so go back to my form crate there inside the form crate we say appointment dot text the text that we appear need to be so let's say select well, make a selection all right that is fine so appointment again dot items dot add dot add and what am I adding that would be booked it as it the appointment is booked or not booked right that is fine so the next one is the title so we can say db c title dot just say select the title or well, this one can even be select a booking here yeah. select a booking yeah and this one is select select title there we go so the title can either be Mr. Mrs. and so on. So let's just put a couple of those in there. Dot items dot add. Let's say Miss Let's enter Mr. Yeah, that would do. Mr. and Miss, maybe a Reverend. And a Captain or whatever. There. So those are the selection we have in there. Or what about, what about Doctor? Could be a Doctor so right so copy this I'm going to use that for the doctor in the case of the doctor I seems to change how that's written so let's see there's D O C in there okay go back to the code and D D O C something like that there yep I think that's fine. There's no error, so that must be it. Paste that in there as well. Right. It's for the doctor. Let's see what is. We've taken care of doctor booking. Or confirmation as well. What is that called? Okay, confirm. Confirm. So this would be confirm. Grab that and change this to confirm. Okay, yep, confirm that will be yes or no. Yes or no. So 
we can change this to confirm booking or booking confirmed. Yeah, copy that, paste that right here. Okay. Booking confirmed or confirmed. All right. So that is fine. What else do I need to do? Okay, gender. Go back in here. So for gender, now be male or female. So change this to gender. Right. Copy this, copy and copy there. So I'm going to change this to female ladies first. And male. There. And here, let's just call that select. That is it. All done. Okay, just take a good look at it. Alright, I'm going to try it out now. Run. Alright, so select and Tie to their booking. Oh, not booked. That should be not booked. Yes, and the doctor's details. All right, close that. Booking is uh, booked and not not booked. Yeah. All right. So that is that all done. Okay. So if I run it now, click on run. And we take it from there so we can then get the patient details and so on okay this is very patient there yeah? all uh, his details is there already so let's come right in here yes, I think it's mister let's see yes mister right just the nationality is missing so we can say it's from uh, let's say it's from it's British. Right. Okay. So that one is sorted. We can just refresh that. Yeah, refresh. Okay. Alright, let's enter new details. So this one doesn't have any nationality. Let's say it's from... Uh, Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's enter new details now. So the very first ones are there. Okay. Look at that one that I've just changed. You see it's on the database already. So we can enter new details. Let's enter new details that will give us. Just to confirm if it's working out or not. That's for the patient's ID. Uh, let's say it's Mrs. And what is the name? Mrs. Uh, Sally. Morehouse. Address 17. Little Venice. Uh, nationality, we just say she's British. Appointment, booked. Date of the appointment, we can just select a date, a date here. Let's say it's going to be this day. The end of the uh, Time of the appointment, you can just make that. Maybe 12 p.m. The 
confirmed yes telephone number gender female date of birth you can say she was born 17 10 95 click age calculated county let's just call that daily and phone number work phone number over number email sally at gmail there dr saidi doctor and the name is peter that's a peter sami there we go that is it so let's see do we have it in the system let's come in here yes we do have sally and the system that is all there is to it guys and that's how you create your own booking system so let's check and see if we have that details on the database so i'm going to open up the database so let's click on my and double click on the database there just to confirm enable there we go that is sally's details there okay so that is fine we have sally's details on board that's good so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now